you have excess sugar already in your system. That is what we call diabetes. And this diabetes mellitus. So, what are the effects of this <coughs> sugar in the system? Okay? Because our, reason, <coughs> our reasoning here is we want to clear sugar so that we reverse diabetes so that all these other uh, body organs start to function. So, what are the complications of sugar and diabetes in the system? There are two. One is the macrovascular. The other one is the microvascular. What effects on micro, small. Micro means small. Vascular means vessels. So, microvascular is for small blood vessels, the venules, the capillaries that supply tissues. And macrovascular effects are for those larger organs, okay? Or rather, larger blood vessels like the outer, like the pulmonary arteries. So, on microvascular effects of sugar in the system, there are three. One is neuropathy, two is nephropathy, and three is retinopathy. Good. These are... Uh, uh, scientific words. I don't want you to cram that. I want you to get the concept. Now, neuropathy. This is neuro, which means nerves. Then, pathy means destruction or destroy. <clears throat> so, neuropathy means destruction of nerves. And where are nerves coming from? The brain and the spinal cord. So, you'll have brain damage. Okay, so that is number one. So here we have the organs that are affected by excess sugar in the system. So we have brain damage as a result of death of brain cells and death of nerves. That is what we call neuropathy. What about nephropathy? Nephro means the functional, functioning cell of the kidney is called the nephron. Okay, so when you say nephropathy, you mean you're destroying cells that are in the kidneys. So <clears throat> number two here is the kidney destruction. So we have brain destruction as number one. And this, before I go even to the kidney, brain destruction and nerve destruction is the reason why diabetic patients experience that numbness in your uh, fingers and your legs. So you will not feel any pain because the nerves that supply, so remember it's neuropathy, you've destroyed nerves. So the nerves that supply the legs and the fingers, they are dead. Also the nerve that supplies the eyes can die also because of sugar. Once they die, you will not feel the pain in the legs and that's why most of the times, diabetic patients have a wound in their legs. They don't feel the pain. So there's the one that you'll feel the pain, and there's the one that you'll not feel the pain because of the destruction of nerves. Okay? So once you don't feel that pain, your leg keeps on rotting and getting this infection, and you're not feeling the pain, so it gets worse with time. Again, for, that is for the brain. Okay? So brain and nerves, that's the reason why they get uh, peripheral neuropathy. So peripheral neuropathy is just the numbness and the tingling in and their legs and their hands. For the kidney, we already say this, nephropathy. So nephron is the functional cell of the kidney. So now when you destroy this unit, then you bring about kidney problems, which is basically AKI, which is acute kidney injury or chronic kidney injury. Now, here is where it gets interesting. When you have acute kidney injury, AKI, this one can be managed. <clears throat> okay. So basically reduce your blood sugars and stuff, and then your kidneys can reform. Okay. Also remember we've blocked blood supply to the kidneys and therefore we are having all the problems that injure the kidney. Okay. So sugar is the number one cause of kidney problems. It is on the top of the list. That's why when I tell you uh, to stop taking sugar, some of you will tell me that at the end of the day we will all die. That is a perfect statement. However, it changes meaning once you get to kidney problems and dialysis, once you get to renal problems and hypertension. Once you get to uh, blindness and once you get to amputation, when now you have the diabetic foot or you have kidney problems and you have these blood pressures that cannot be controlled, then you start asking questions again. You now reverse your statement that uh, was saying we will all die anyway. If we don't eat sugar or if we eat sugar, we will all die. Now you're only looking for life. So you come back asking another question. How can I handle kidney problem? Which drugs should I use? Now you're failing because using drugs is not the solution. The solution is in what you're eating and your arrogance. So please, sometimes when somebody explains these things to you, take them serious because once you reach to amputation, then you start appreciating life and we don't want you to get there. We want you to avoid sugar so that you avoid these problems, okay? Because it's easy and that's why we bring this information to you. So basically, once you have acute kidney failure, you can, you can help, yeah, you, can, you can treat it, okay? Now, once you have chronic kidney failure, which is CKD, or chronic kidney disease or chronic kidney failure, this is the time when you start going for those dialysis sessions and your blood pressures are uncontrollable, extremely high. Remember, the kidney has several functions in the body. 
Function is number one is to control blood pressure and also acid balance in the system. So if you have failing kidneys, then your blood pressure will always go up. And this is the time when you're told to stop using salt because now you cannot excrete it because remember kidneys are the organs that help you excrete substances from your body, toxic substances. So basically in your blood, you will have high content of uh, urea and, and all those protein uh, uh, metabolites in the system. So you'll have problems. You start experiencing uh, uh, psychosis and stuff. And you'll also have a problem in excreting sugar, which means water will be retained and salt will be retained in the blood and your blood volume will go high. Once your blood volume raises up, that is an increase in blood pressure. We'll talk about blood pressure someday. So once you increase your blood pressure, then you go ahead and start using drugs again. The same same drugs that are supposed to be excreted by the kidneys, and yet the kidneys are failing. So you will end up uh, being intoxicated by the side effects of these drugs. Okay. So the basics is just in avoiding sugar, and then your kidneys go back to normal, and then your body re resumes uh, normalcy. So that is the key. Number three is retinopathy. Retina. Retina is a substance that is found in the eye. So number one, it kills the retina. So you will have bl blindness. So your eyes will have blindness. Sugar kills the eye. That's why diabetic patients start having blindness. Also, sugar kills the liver, which means the liver is the home that produces vitamin A. So vitamin A is the one that is aiding in vision. So once you kill the liver, then there's no vitamin A production. And again, you've inhibited, inhibited blood flow to the eye. So even if there is vitamin A, it doesn't reach the eye. So the eye starts to go blind. Why? Because there's no nutrients and nourishment of the eye because of occlusion of blood vessels. There is a failing liver because... There is no because of sugar, so there is no production of vitamin A. And then you're killing the eye through retinopathy. That gives you blindness. So if you avoid sugar again, you replace, uh, you replenish everything and the eye goes back to normal. For the legs, we've talked about uh, amputation. So in the legs, you block nervous flow to the leg and, and blood flow to the leg. Then you might end up in getting those conditions and amputation. Then the liver, we have a fatty liver. Once you have a fatty liver, you'll experience all symptoms of uh, 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 a diabetes so you'll have problems with hormone production remember the liver is the organ that protects our bodies so immunity will go down that's why hiv patients and diabetic patients have low uh, immunity number two the liver produces hormones the liver produces enzymes the liver helps you in digestion so all these functions of the liver we have a video that talks about functions of the liver so you can take uh, a look at that so all these functions of the liver even detoxification of drugs will be a problem so you'll experience higher side effects of drugs because the liver that makes them less toxic has a problem, okay? Now, on the last one has to be the reproductive system. Before, Last but not least, the reproductive system. Now, most men are, experienced, are experiencing erectile dysfunction and premature ejaculation. This is a result of sugar intake. Why? You take in sugar, you destroy the liver, and therefore there is no production of testosterone. It is altered. Therefore, you'll have problems in erection. That's why the number one... Uh, a solution in fixing erectile dysfunction has to be sugar. Also, sugar has destroyed your kidneys. And another function of the kidneys is production of a hormone called EPO. This is basically erythropoietin. What is the function of this hormone erythropoietin? Its function is basically to go to the bone marrow and activate production of red blood cells. Okay? Now, remember, erection is a, res is a result of a uh, flow of blood towards the penis. So, if you lack EPO, then you'll go into anemia. Okay, so if you have anemia, then there's no blood flow to the penis. Then that means you will not have an erection because erection is a, is a function of blood flow towards the penis.